Welcome to Mass with Market. Today we're gonna solve a really nice problem from Singapore Mass Olympiad. So let's talk about this. If x squared plus x plus one that's equal to zero, we want to find x to the power of 49, 50, 51, 52, and 53. So and we know that I forgot x is a real number. What can we do with this one? If I write it x squared plus x plus one that's equal to zero. If uh, if you imagine that x is not equal to uh, 1, why? Because I want to multiply this equation by x minus 1. And of course, x is, is, uh, x is not equal to 1 because if you put 1 here, you will get 0. That's not equal, uh, we'll get 3 and that's not equal to 0. So here we have x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 that's just equal 0 so it means that x to the power of 3 minus 1 that's equal 0 so x cubed is equal positive 1 that's really nice isn't it and now if I factor x to the power of 49 what will happen x to the power of 49 we will have x plus 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the power of 4. Yes, that's we want to find this. And according to this one, x to the power of uh, 3 or x cubed that's equal 1. <clears throat> oh, sorry, uh, you can write as x cubed to the power of 16 times x that's equal to x to the power of 49 times here i write it 1 plus x plus x uh, squared plus x cubed plus x to the power of 4 and that's just equal uh, x cubed is equal 1 1 to the power of 16 is equal 1 that will equal x times 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 4 and we want to find this so let me scroll down to continue um, we know that uh, in our question 1 plus x plus x squared was equal to 0 so that's equal x times x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 4. And I proved that by x to the power of 3 or x cubed is equal 1. So I will have x times 1 plus x to the power of 4. And here we will have uh, x times 1 plus x cubed times x right why because i know that x to the power of 3 is equal 1 so that's equal x times 1 plus x that's really nice why because if i multiply x by 1 plus x that will be equal x plus x squared and in the main question, uh, we will have, uh, sorry, we had x squared plus x plus 1, that's equal 0. And here we have x plus x squared, so that's equal to negative 1. Because you can move positive 1 to the right side, and that's equal to negative 1. And that is the final answer. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video. And thanks for watching.